Good night, and welcome to Change Life Deaf Church Bible Study. We're so happy you've joined with us tonight. We hope that your knowledge about God and His ways and His Word will increase every week. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much for this time together. We pray that your Spirit would help us to have minds that are clear, to pay attention to your Word, we pray that your word would come into our hearts and change us and make us more like Jesus Christ. We pray in his name. Amen. All right. We're so excited for you to be here tonight. We're beginning this week a new series of studies. Now, we've already finished a few books of the Bible, so we thought. Let's look at a different way tonight. We're not going to look at a book. We're going to look at individuals in the Bible. And we're starting with the family of Jesus Christ. Okay? So let's look a little bit about what we're talking about. Jesus' family tree. You know what that means, a family tree? That's like your mother and your father and their mother and her mother, grandmother and great-grandmother all the way back in the past. Your family, that's called a family tree, okay? Now, Jesus has a very interesting family tree. Many of the famous people in the Bible are related to Jesus Christ. So we thought we'd take a look back and see. Now here's a list of names that is very interesting. And I want you to look at it carefully for a little bit, okay? And pay attention to the red arrows. The red arrows. Look at those people especially. They're going to be the ones that we're going to be talking about in this series. Okay, now, we really have two lists of families here from Jesus' family. One is in Matthew, and the other is in Luke. So the other two Gospels don't have lists of Jesus' family. It starts, Mark starts right with Jesus ministering. And he's already 30 years old. And John doesn't talk about Jesus' life at all. So, of these two, but there's another list of the Jewish families that you might read yourself. It's in First Chronicles chapters 1 through 9. I know it's hard to read all those names. No, not too many people read all those names. It's just list after list after list 
names of people starting with Adam and Eve and going down through the generations up until the time of the Jewish people coming back to the promised land. You remember, they received the land from God and then they obeyed God for a little while and then began rebelling and he warned them, I'm going to take you out of the land and put you into a different land for 70 years and then you'll come back. So First Chronicles, that's the list from that time, from Adam and Eve all the way up until that time coming back from that other country. Now, in this study, we're going to study about some of the people that you know from the Bible and maybe a few that you don't know about. So let's take a look. First, we want to talk about Adam. Now, Adam is a very important person because he started the whole human race. You and I, all your friends, your mother, your father, all of us are related all the way back to Adam. So he's a very important person. He lived a long time ago. All right. Also, we want to talk about this man, Enoch. He's six generations after Adam and Eve. And he lived right before God, and he didn't die. He went straight up into heaven. So we're going to talk about him. Then there's, we know about Noah. He was found right among all the people on the earth. They were very wicked, and God was looking around, and he found one good person, Noah and his three sons, Shem, Ham, Japheth. you see his name right there, the first son, Shem, in the list. So we're going to talk about Noah and how he's related to Jesus, and he is a picture of Jesus also. So we're going to see that. Then as we go down a few more generations, we have Abraham. And Abraham is maybe the most famous Jew because he's the first Jew. Before Abraham, there were no Jews. So God called Abraham and said, Your generations will be my people. I choose your family as my people. And he gave them a covenant. And if you obey the covenant, my word, you will be my people. So Abraham was the first Jew. His son, Isaac, is also a very famous person. And really, three religions in the world talk about Abraham, Isaac. The Christian religion, the Jewish religion, and the Muslim religion, all three have Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in them. So they're very important persons. So we're going to talk about those three. Abraham, his son Isaac, and his son, Jacob. And remember, Jacob had a brother, a twin, named Esau. And we're going to talk about them, and they're very important people in Jesus' family. I want you to notice that from Abraham... Many of the names from Mary and from Joseph's 
family are the same. So we have Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Perez, Hezron, from Aram, separate for a little while, and then they come back together again. Now, there's a few other people on this list that we want to talk about. This man, Boaz, and Ruth. You know the story. We've already seen that story of Ruth. She's famous because she, this woman, is not a Jew. She was brought into the family of the Jews. How? By marrying the man Boaz. All right? Then we have David. We're going to talk about David because David was the first of the king's family. I know there was one king before David named Saul, but his family never became kings. God looked around and he found David and he said, This man will obey me. David was very obedient to God. And his sons became king in succession. I want you to notice that Luke, I'm sorry, Matthew, we see all the king's names. All right? All of those were kings from David's family. And let's remember that Jesus, he was called what? The son of David. So this family, David, was very important. And we see that Joseph's family was related to David. But also Mary's family was related to David but through a different son of David, Nathan. So we see the family of Mary and the family of Joseph separate for a while, two different parts of the same family, and they all relate back to David. And we're going to talk about David's son, Solomon. Solomon was a very famous king. He was richest king. He was the most wise king. He obeyed God. And during his time as king, there was a lot of peace in Israel. And Israel, the country, the area, was very large under Solomon. Then we have all these names from the family of David all the way down to Josiah. And the last king was Joachim. He was the king, the last king of Judah, the southern part of Israel. And he was taken captive to Babylon. All the Jewish people followed him and stayed there for 70 years. Then we have a lot of names that we don't actually know much about them. The Bible doesn't explain who they are, but we know that they're related to Jesus because Luke lists them as part of. Jesus' family. Now, the next person we want to talk about is Zerubbabel. And he was in Babylon 
and he was born there, and he lived, and he led the people back to their own country, Israel. So he has a very important part in the people coming back into the Jewish homeland. So we have a whole list of names, and we see the family of Mary and the family of Joseph separate, and they come back in the end. And we have different fathers. We're not sure how many generations one ends in Mary and one ends in Joseph. Now, some of these names we're not exactly sure because the records of the names were a little confused during the captivity, those seventy years in Babylon. So some of the names got a little confused, but. We feel pretty sure that this are the exact list of the family trees. I want you to look at this list very carefully by yourself, okay? I want you to notice that Matthew's list starts with Abraham, not Adam. But Abraham. Now, why? Why Abraham? Because Matthew wrote to show Jesus was a true Jewish person. He wanted to be sure that the people understood that Jesus was related back to Abraham. And Abraham, of course, was the first Jew. He wanted people to be sure that the Gospel of Matthew, that it was. Oh yeah, he is a Jewish person. Jesus was. Luke starts with Adam. Now Adam, why Adam? To show that Jesus. Uh, so Adam started the human race. He was the first man. So Jesus is a true man. So Luke wants people, as they read his gospel, to think, "Oh, he's a real man, just like you and me. He was born. He grew up. He had problems. He had pain." He even died, just like you and me. The difference is what Jesus rose from the dead. Okay. So that's the two lists of names. Now, why study Jesus' family? What for? Well, we think. I wonder. What was my grandfather or great grandfather? What was he like? My grandmother, my great grandmother. What were they like? How did they live? So we can do some checking. We can ask our mothers and fathers and our grandmothers and grandfathers and ask them, and they'll tell us the history of our family. When I was small, I talked to my grandfather. He talked a lot about his life as a boy growing up in America. Very interesting.、It、was a good story. So it's interesting to find out about your own family, the family history, and so it's good history. To learn about Jesus' family tree is just plain old good history. A lot of exciting people in the family of Jesus. 
and we know that their lives show us a lot about how to obey God, how they disobeyed God, what happened to people, different things. And we learn a lot about how Jesus thought because his heritage. It's good history. It's exciting history. All right? Also, it's good to study the family tree of Jesus because it shows Jesus was a true man. He was not some person's idea of a good story, so they invented the story, they invented the character. No. Like Spider Man, right? You know, Spider Man? That's an invention. He's not a real person. It's not a real history. Someone thought and just invented that story. And Superman? It's just an invention. But Jesus' family, it shows that he was a true person. He truly lived. He had a family of his own that he was related to. It's proof that Jesus was truly a person in history. All right? Also, it shows Jesus was a true Jew. We know that the Jewish people, they had, have a long history. Even today, they look back to who? To Abraham. He's a famous person. Ask any Jewish person about Abraham. They're going to tell you lots of stories about Abraham. So, he was a true Jewish person. Jesus was related to Abraham. So he's a true Jew as well. And we see that through his family tree. Also, Matthew and Luke list the names of the people, the Jews, who know show that Jesus was a true man, not some kind of spirit. He was not a ghost, a spirit, but he was truly a man. He felt, he talked, he thought, just like you and me. We have to remember that Jesus is not some idea. He's not a good philosopher, not some untouchable person. Because some of the letters of the apostles say that we actually touched him. He was a true man, not a spirit. Even after he rose from the dead, he still had a physical body. All right, so we need to look at Jesus' family tree to see that Jesus was truly a person, not a spirit. And finally, to show Jesus that he connects the Old Testament and the New Testament. And this is very important because if we read the Old Testament only, we miss Jesus. If we read the New Testament only, we're going to miss. Many things in the New Testament we can't understand until we read the Old Testament and relate the two. Jesus bridges between the parts of the Bible, the Old Testament and the New Testament. Now, the Old Testament doesn't mean that it's 
not worth, it's old. Now we don't have to pay attention. No, what it really means is former, the before testament, not old. It's the same agreement, but it was before. The New Testament is now agreement. And so we need to see the two related. Like, why did they bring the lamb sacrifice? Why were they in captivity? Lots of questions we understand if we know the relationship between what's the importance of King David? Well, because he was related to Jesus. And the king is a picture of Jesus as king, etc., etc. So, we want to see that relationship from the Old Testament and the New Testament. All right, so that's the beginning of our study about different people in the Bible. What do you think about it yourself? And if you want to learn about any other person, more than what we already will talk about tonight, and you see their name in the Bible, send it to us. And we'll study, we'll see, we'll find out some information about that person. Okay? Doesn't have to be related to Jesus. Maybe Joshua, you want to know about uh, different people in the Bible that are not necessarily related to Jesus. Let us know. Okay? So we want you to participate with us in this study. We want you to be interested in this Bible study, okay? Let's pray. Father, thank you so much for this time together. We pray that your spirit would touch us tonight. We pray that as we learn about Jesus' family tree, that we will see your wonderful plan of salvation through his family. Ultimately, through himself, Jesus. We see your preparation leading up to Jesus Christ. Thank you for this. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Keep reading your Bible. Really encourage you to do that. You will learn so much about God and about right and about wrong, about how to live right, reading the Bible. I know it's a lot of words, and they're hard sometimes, but continue on. Read it yourself, okay? Good night, and we'll see you again next week, same time, 7.30. 